Modern Warfare 2 just got a brand new update, and over the last few days, there's been a few other hot fixes. As always, in this video, we're going to be covering everything in a rapid style format. That way, you can quickly watch the video and get right back into game with no wasted time. If you're new here, want to sub, I greatly appreciate it. And if you have to like or a comment, thank you a ton. So, starting off, let's go over the updates from a few days ago. I didn't cover these when they first came out because it wasn't enough information for a full video, and I was waiting for an actual update to cover all this stuff. This is a tweet from Infinity Ward on Twitter DMZ players, we fix an issue affecting tracking of kills distances during the massive stock mission so just a simple mission fix on top of that another update came from raven software we've released a fix addressing an issue that prevented ultimate perks including high alert from working as intended so if you haven't been playing warzone 2 since the game launch most of the ultimate perks didn't work whatsoever they have now finally been fixed and you can go ahead and start using those in warzone 2 with no issues and one more before we move into today's update yes shipment 24 7 is gone and was replaced with shoot house 24 7 unfortunately there's no tier one shoot house 24 7 that would make long shots extremely easy shipment had a tier one playlist but that's gone and the normal playlist and it was replaced with just normal shoot house shipment still in the game you can find it in normal public matches they did say that shoot the ship 2 was coming at some point during season one so maybe next week we'll get shoot the ship 24 7 instead of just shoot house but yeah that's the current state of end game and then finally here's today's update coming from infinity ward on twitter we've just released a small update with fixes for Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2. Fix an issue where pressing down on the scoreboard moves the cursor by two. Fix an exploit allowing access to non-core MP maps in private match. Fix a bug where weapons that had a receiver manually changed and gunsmith would not be equipped in DMZ. Address an exploit allowing blocked attachments to be equipped. Fix a UI bug in the store that caused free bundle tags to stay on screen across other items. Fix a crash that would appear when leaving the firing range with a secondary weapon equipped. Fix an issue where some players did not receive the Anime Enjoyer sticker after purchasing the Notice Me 1.0 bundle. So yeah, nothing too big in here. These are all kind of smaller fixes. The only thing super big is that Ultimate Perks were fixed in Warzone, and that actually happened a couple days ago. What is good about this is the devs are back in office after the holiday break, so updates are starting to roll out again. So hopefully we get a pretty big update soon, maybe when Shoot the Ship comes back, and then Season 2 is right around the corner. Season 2 starts next month. Uh, I'm not sure the exact exact day yet they haven't released that so hopefully we get the roadmap all that cool stuff let me know about all the changes in this how you felt about them and if you guys want to stay fully up to date with everything going on with call of duty dmz warzone mp we're going to be covering it all here in a rapid style format that way you don't waste any time thank you guys so much for watching if you love to like or comment i appreciate it, and i'll see you guys in the next one peace